just set off on all points north making my way out of Sheffield now I feel a bit sick with all the food I've eaten uh, had about 500 grams of pasta on the way down here and just been scoffing food basically and my stomach will calm down as, a, as the race progresses and then I can get rid of some of the weight that's in my pockets after leaving the HQ the first like five miles it's like an alley cat race with people going in different directions because you can choose your own route uh, it was so fun just going down one road and then people peel onto the same road and then turn off but yeah it's gonna be a, a long old two days I've had my first puncture uh, blew up CO2 and it seems to have sealed itself thank god for tubeless there's loads of flags with jubilee stuff up yeah I passed through the first checkpoint and on my way to the second uh, it's gonna keep on going it's gonna be a long night there's not many people up at this time and the only people who are are us mad cyclists and I've seen a few drunk people stumbling home from jubilee celebrations It's now half four in the morning and I've just left the second checkpoint of Byland Abbey and a stunning sunrise, bright red sky, back on the road and now I'm heading towards Gothland Station I think. That'll be the third checkpoint and that's not too far and then I'll be heading all the way up to Bamburgh for the fourth checkpoint which is quite a, quite a leap but yeah better keep on pedalling. As per usual, my shortcuts are not actually shortcuts. I've just passed through Newcastle. It's so weird being like so close to home and not being able to, to go in fully self-supported and no outside help. So I've also been having a, a lot of trouble with punctures. I've had a pretty interesting day with uh, feeling pretty good and going at a decent pace 
and then having some uh, tire issues with uh, sealant and uh, small like small holes from like some of the gravel tracks that I went on yeah eventually I just had to take the tire off and see if I could put a tube in but then I, I really struggled to take the, the valve out so um, I had to ask a, a kind guy and a recumbent to give me a hand uh, because he had a spanner and an allen key that he used to bodge a way of getting it off I managed to get it off and get me on the road again but with the ultra distance racing any outside support deemed as a disqualification so I, I rang the um the HQ and told them what happened and uh yeah DQ'd myself but I'm, I'm still I'm still gonna finish it well attempt to finish it I'm about 300 miles in now um which is mad it's not even halfway 24 hours in see if I'm gonna ride through another night at the end of the day it's my first like ultra distance bike back and race so it's all a massive learning curve and I'll do better next time GPS computer which marks my longest ride ever so whatever distance I do now on top uh, that'll be my new new total should be about 250 to maybe a bit more uh, on top the next checkpoint is Cow Green Reservoir and it's a bit of an out and back about 15 miles in a straight line and then we make a u-turn once we've got the uh, the question for the brevet card and we're taking the tracker there and then we make a u-turn come back down the same road and then we're, we're heading to Ulfa